Today we'll be showing you how to install the TrackMan IO Launch Monitor. We're going to be mounting this right to the frame of one of our Pro Golf Enclosure kits, and then we will go through the software installation process. So while you can mount your TrackMan to the ceiling of your space, today we're going to be mounting it to the frame of one of our Pro Golf Enclosure kits uh, using this mounting adapter. Uh, we have this available for any ceiling-based launch monitor. It just makes a really nice, easy way to get this installed right to the frame of your Pro Enclosure kit. So following the instructions, we're going to take one side of the clamp and put it over the top of the bar, and the other side of the clamp, we're going to put it underneath. We're going to line those up and attach using the included screws. All right, now that we've got that done, we are going to once again check for level. You can see right here that this is definitely not a level surface. With the IO, the more level the launch monitor is, the more accurate its readings will be. So we wanna go ahead and adjust this. I'll have to make a couple of small adjustments there. And that's looking pretty dang good. All right, so next we are going to put up the actual launch monitor. Uh, we just have to get these uh, bolts lined up with the holes on the back, very carefully. All right, so now it's time to attach your data and power cables. Uh, we already have our cables run. Uh, we have it kind of going behind the flaps on the enclosure you can see coming down here. The TrackMan will come with a power brick. Um, this you can see there's Velcro on the back. Uh, so this will just attach right to the back side of the IO launch monitor. You plug in the power from your outlet right here. And then this plug, we are going to the side of the launch monitor. So the next step is uh, plugging in the ethernet cable from your track band into the back of the computer using this dongle. And then included with the launch monitor is gonna be this USB thumb drive. That's gonna have uh, all the software you need to install. So we'll go ahead and just plug that in to the back of the computer as well. So we can start the installation process. So we'll be going through a slightly abridged version of the installation, so make sure you're following along with the instructions included on your TrackMan USB. All right, so we'll start off by opening the navigator on our computer, and we're gonna go over here to the side and find our USB drive that we put in from TrackMan. We'll click on that, and you'll see right here there's an application that you'll run, the TrackMan Performance Studio Installer. All you have to do is double click on that, and then it will start the installation process and you just have to follow along with the instructions. All right, so the next step is gonna be opening up the TPS software that we just installed, and we are going to calibrate the launch monitor using the included calibration board. So when you first start your TrackMan software, you will be greeted with this calibration screen. Uh, so we'll quick go through how to calibrate the launch monitor. Uh, so you'll take your calibration plate that you have here, and you'll see there's an arrow on it. When you're doing this, you want to make sure that arrow is pointed towards the screen. So we're going to take and put this down on the ground. Well, first we have to hit, hit calibrate. <laughs> 
So we hit the calibrate button. We have our calibration board on the ground. You'll see there's a crosshair up on the screen. So you wanna line up your calibration board, the circle right in the middle. Uh, you'll see a crosshair appears there. You wanna line that up right with the crosshair on your screen. So we'll kind of fiddle around with that. I think that looks pretty good. So there we go, it says calibration board detected correctly, everything's lined up. So we'll go back to the computer and hit calibrate. So the next step is taking your calibration board and we're gonna go up to the screen with it. Uh, this step is to tell the TrackMan basically how far away you are from the screen as you're hitting. There's a camera inside the TrackMan that's looking at the screen right now. You can see down in this corner, it says T up uh, to net distance 20 to 30 yards, which is not correct. So we take this board, we're gonna hold it up so that the TrackMan can see it. And you can see just that quick, it says auto 11 feet, five inches, which is much closer to accurate. Um, so that's all you need to do for that process. The next step is doing the auto target, uh, which is another very simple process. All you have to do is click auto target. You'll see the screen is gonna change to a bunch of different symbols. So I'll do that quick. And what this is doing is uh, showing the track man where the center of your screen is, uh, just to make sure that it knows where it's lined up basically. And finally, uh, the bay tracer offset. Uh, this is something you can do where if you have maybe a little bit of a narrower space and you're hitting from off center, this is what you'll use to tell the track man that you're hitting off center. So you can adjust this until that center line is in front of your hitting area and then you would hit OK, and you would be set to go. In this case, though, we are hitting from the center of the screen, so we can just hit center. And it recalibrates the center of the screen, and we're all set. All right, so we'll hit continue. Uh, so we are completely set up, ready to go. This is the main screen. Uh, so next thing we are going to do is take a couple of shots just to make sure it's all set up correctly and reading our, uh, our golf ball. So let's just go to the practice range. Um, so we go into practice and then range. We can hit continue. We've already got a guest player set up, so we'll set, hit start practice. All right, so we're heading to the driving or the practice range. Uh, we're selecting the club I'm hitting, which in this case is a nine iron. Uh, you can select how far away you want your target to be. I usually hit it somewhere in the 130 range, so let's just do 135. We'll hit confirm and head to the range, and let's try a shot. So you can see it picked up the ball right away. Like I said, I hit it usually about 135. That carried 124, so not quite as long, but I'm stiff. I haven't loosened up yet. Take another one here. And you can see when you take the shot, um, you get all the data on the screen, a replay of your club impacting the ball. Super awesome software. It's simple to use once you get everything set up. So it looks like everything is working great here. Um, so let's head back out of the driving range into the main menu and show you how to download a couple of courses. All right, so to actually play a course, you will have to download it. Um, it's stored locally on your computer. Uh, so we can go in here and you can see all the courses that are available. Right now it's sorted just by the latest up, uh, released ones. You can search if there's a specific course that you're looking at, you can see if it's available through the search. Um, let's just kind of randomly pick one here. And we'll hit continue. And all you have to do is hit install and it will download, download that course for you. All right, so if you wanna do a batch download and download multiple courses at once, uh, when you're in this course selection screen, you can click way down here at the bottom and it'll show you any courses that you already have installed and any courses that are available. Uh, so you can just go through here and select courses that you would like to download. You just hit the download button on those courses. 
I'm just randomly picking a few. I don't even know which ones I'm selecting. Ooh, Jurassic Bullseye. That sounds cool. So you can see as we're clicking through there, um, they are showing up in our queue. Let's just do one more. Craig Ranch. Sounds fantastic. So we'll click over to the queue and you can see the status of uh, the downloads. It'll just go through, download these one by one, and once they're installed, you can go ahead and start playing. So that concludes the installation of the TrackMan IO and its software. As long as you follow along with their installation instructions, it's a very simple process. If you have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comments below and make sure to like and subscribe for more content on building your own golf simulator setup.